I was running out of wall, so I decided to try to get this done again. So we're redoing the wall and trying to make space. Wow. Welcome back to FM. Today we're talking to those people whose passion, talents, and hearts have changed culture. That was Grammy-winning hit maker, songwriter, producer, rapper, and founder of So So Def, Jermaine Dupree, back with us. Looking at your artists, so I said DeBrat, Usher, who we just saw at his residency, the list goes on and on. You can't have a favorite, do you? Yeah, yeah, you can. Well, DeBrat's like your sister. Yeah, DeBrat's So that's my, different. Yeah, that's like my sister. But I mean, when you're in the studio, do you have a favorite that when you walk in, your eyes light up, your mind starts going, and you say, this is going to be it? Um, I think me and Usher have that relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I actually... I, I actually, I think I got two. I think me, I think me, uh, me and Usher and Mariah both have that relationship. And Mariah. Yeah, Mariah Carey is... When you look at the range of just those two people alone, mm -hmm. the common denominator is you. So there's Usher, there's Mariah, and the common denominator is Jermaine Dupri. Mm. What is it that you think you infused in both of those careers? I'm the type of producer that makes tailor-made suits. You know, you stand up there, you get your suit made, and you measure the shoulders, and you make sure that the suit fits just for you, uh, when they come work with me, that's, they leave with songs that's just their just songs. Just for them. They know that I write this song for Mariah yeah. and give it to somebody else. Um, I know that earlier this month, April 4th, you released your EP for Motivational Use Only, Volume 1. Yes. That title alone had me intrigued. Oh, uh, yeah? What does it mean for you to bring this music? This project is very interesting because Currency, um, he made a song called Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. Right? And, and nobody else has made a song called Jermaine Dupree, so I was just like... Did that seem weird to you that no one had made a song called Jermaine Dupree? I mean, I, mean, I didn't expect it, so I guess it did feel weird. Because <laughs> um, he and I weren't friends. Like, you know, we, we weren't even on the phone. It wasn't like he's like my homie and he made a song about his homeboy. He just made a song about somebody that he didn't really know. And I inspired him. So, it, like, that, that in itself was like a first one of those things where I'm like, at least I can work with you. That's the least I can do is, like, give you a song. Let me do a song for you. And he came to Atlanta, and um, that song turned into 40 songs. And yeah. we, we, wow. we decided we should do a project together. Do you have a vault of songs, vault of music? <laughs> no, I think... I also think that's the secret to my sauce, oh. is that I make music that's supposed to be heard when I make it. Oh. Yeah. You have a documentary that has struck the fear into yes. people. It's been trending since it was announced that Hulu um, it, and you have worked are working on a documentary about Freaknik. So for people who don't know, for um, since 1983, it started as a small gathering at HBCU picnic, and then it turned into a phenomenon. Now the documentary is coming out, and there are people who are now successful lawyers and doctors and parents and they are worried that their freak Nick story will be revealed. Um, wh what is the documentary? Is it going to reveal the essence of this party, the culture? What is the story here? Well, I want... I, I, I've been waiting for this question, so... Um, oh, let me tell you, I never went. Okay. Because uh, I just knew one day somebody was going to do a documentary. documentary. <laughs> I knew! Uh, I knew! I, I, I want to say this to all of those people out there, that um, my vision of Freak Nick um, is really a story about the South in Atlanta. It's not really a story about what everybody keeps talking about. And I think... I, 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 I don't like that part because I feel like um, it's a little disrespectful because I'm just telling a story... I'm telling the story of Atlanta, yeah. right? And how Atlanta was built into the place that it is today. People came to Atlanta from Freak... do Freak Nick, and they stayed. Right? People would move... Like, I say that in Welcome to Atlanta. Um, you know, people came to Atlanta for Freak Nick, and they stayed, and that's how Atlanta has become this multicultural, multi-city place. Yeah. 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 That's... It's be, Freak Nick is, plays one of the biggest roles in that period. So, so this is a big deal, because you're clearing this up. This is not about this wild party. I, I can't say that you won't see freaking in the video. <laughs> oh, no. It is called Freak Nick. It is what it is. Okay. Because um, it's the 40th anniversary of Freak Nick. Yeah. 
It's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Right. And it's the 30th anniversary of So So Deaf. So it's all. All tied in together. I love it. Together. Thank you, JD. Thank Congratulations you. on everything. New EP with rapper Currency for motivational use only. Volume one available today. All the music streaming on platforms. Go to TamaraHallShow.com to find out how you can get your tickets to his May 4th show, Webster Hall in New York.